Neo faces stiff headwinds despite several unique business opportunities. One day ago, December 20, 2023. Source: Pyutter Swat Shutterstock.com. Chinese electric vehicle EV maker Neo Nice. Neo seems like it should be doing better than it is. Sales are growing. It's developing new, specialized chips for its cars, and it has an innovative battery. Swap business that it might just spin off into a standalone company. In China's fast-growing EV market, that should spell success, but it's not. Neo also produces massive losses on every single EV it builds. It's had to cut prices, skip out on entering the U.S. market due to trade restrictions, and eliminate jobs to conserve costs. Those factors weigh more heavily on the stock. Shares are down 8% in 2023, and by nearly half from its 52-week high. Investors need to decide whether the Chinese EV maker can overcome the headwinds it faces, or if the risks are just too great to invest in Neo stock. Neo details: Neo delivered 55,432 vehicles in the third quarter up 75% from last year and 135% greater than in the second quarter. That generated a 47% growth spurt in year-over-year -year revenue, which hit $2.6 billion for the period. Unfortunately, adjusted losses widened to $664 million. The adjusted loss of $0.31 per share, however, handily beat Wall Street's expectations of a 0.43 per share loss. Earlier this year, the New York Times reported that Neo was losing about $35,000 on each car. It was able to stay afloat only due to subsidies from the Chinese government, totaling some $2.6 billion over the past few years. Now, Neo just got another cash infusion of $2.2 billion from the sovereign investment fund of the United Arab Emirates called Sivan Holdings. That's on top of the $1 billion it got from the fund this summer. The Middle East is shaping up to be an important stronghold for EV manufacturers and a key lifeline for survival. Lucid Nasdaq, Elsid, is majority owned by the Saudi Arabian government's public investment fund, which owns 60% of the EV company. For NEO, it withdrew plans to enter the U.S. market as trade tensions between the U.S and China ramped up, it is looking to other foreign markets for growth. Europe and the Middle East are key target markets. Now what? Despite fast-growing sales, building EVs is expensive and, for many automakers, not profitable. While Warren Buffett's preferred Chinese EV maker BYD Otsums, BIV, reported first half 2023 profits of $1.5 billion, others are having a rougher go of it. Yet, as competitive as the Chinese EV market is, support from Beijing and Abu Dhabi suggests NEO will not go under. Part of Lucid's investment thesis seems to be Riyadh will buy out the company before allowing it to go bankrupt. It may be the same for NEO.